Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. There is nothing more disconcerting than not knowing where you are going. We use all sorts of aids to get to our destination. We check out maps, we consult MapQuest, and we'll even use global positioning devices. It's all in an effort to safely get to our desired end. We need a sense of confidence and trust that we're proceeding in the right direction. Some people have a natural sense of direction and they're confident that they're traveling towards their end. But even with the most confident individuals, as soon as a little wrinkle is tossed in the way of their journey, a detour, construction, or an unexplained change, then surety can turn into agitation and make one question their decisions and reassess the certainty of their directions. In today's gospel, Jesus tells the disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. Then Jesus tells them that he's going to prepare a place for them and he will return to take them with him. Where I'm going, Jesus said, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? In our spiritual journey through life, we can be challenged. All sorts of obstacles can be placed in our way to heaven. We can lose our direction. We can receive bad directions. We can immobilize ourselves in fear. How can we gain our confidence? During this pandemic, our faith is challenged. Why is this happening to us? Why has God allowed this to happen? Has God abandoned us? At this time, we need to reaffirm our direction and to utilize the best possible method to achieve our destination, which is heaven. Jesus states, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It is in this statement that our Lord offers to his disciples the best means possible to achieve our ultimate destination. It is and always has been Jesus that calms our fears, alleviates our uncertainties, and reinforces our confidence and trust in God. Following Jesus' love will lead us to our heavenly home. Thank you for tuning in. Join us tomorrow when we will bring you another daily reflection. Stay safe, healthy, and holy. God bless you.